This is Sterling limited release 50th anniversary blend 2011 from Napa Valleys. So this is something pretty unique. Um, Sterling Vineyards, a you know, real uh, Napa Valley pioneer, <laughs> if you will. I've been there for a long time. And this is their 50th anniversary. So they decided to make a special blend just to commemorate. And you know, they used um, primarily Merlot. It's, it's roughly 60% Merlot, 15 Petit Syrah, 15 Zin, and then the last 10% is a smattering of a uh, bunch of different grapes. But um, you know, the Merlot kind of goes back to their history because of course, you know, when they first started out, Rick Foreman made outstanding Merlots at Sterling. And, uh, so they were sort of known for that. But so anyway, uh, moving ahead 50 years <laughs> to today's wine, they have, there's so many good uh, grape varieties growing in the Napa Valley that you can use to enhance Merlot. And that's basically what they've done. Um, I uh, actually had, was lucky enough to have a little sit down with the winemaker uh, last week, week, week or two ago, Harry Hansen, and he was talking about how, you know, the 2011 vintage obviously was a very challenging vintage. You know, everybody sort of knows that. Very cool, very sort of difficult to get good ripe fruit. But because Sterling has so many uh, good contracts and good sources, they were able to get some really good grapes um, in spite of the tough finish. And they were able to put together a really good blend with those grapes here. You know, sourcing from throughout the valley, uh, you know, up there, up in Calistoga, but they're, they're sourcing down in the southern part of the valley, you know, in the middle of the valley, all over the place. And, uh, you know, aging in nice new oak barrels. And the nose is really pretty. It's blackberries. It's, uh, it's cassis. And that's a little bit of sort of um, a little cedary spice in there. Definitely a distinct spice note. A little licorice. Mm, it's, it's real lively. Let's taste. really just remarkably ripe and even lush for 2011 Napa. Um, yeah, you know, they weren't kidding. They, they, they scored some good fruit and they really threw it together into a nice wine. Um, it's very supple. Uh, the tannins are real honed. Um, good balance, but that fruit really comes through on the mid palates, lingering on the finish. To me, this is a wine that really drinks beautifully now. Um, might age for your uh, for a few years in your cellar, but uh, really just comes through really quite drinkable and delicious right now. So something you really ought to try. Happy drinking.